okay no issue now you will be uh, your confusion will be uh, get out okay you uh, okay now basically what happened whenever we uh, give data to computer whenever we give data to computer it store in memory okay and it takes space so that space can be measured that is called memory size how much data you are giving like if i press a capital a it is a single character it will take one byte remember one character is equal to one byte and in and one byte basically equal to eight bits. Remember, eight bits equal to one. Okay, this point is clear. Whenever you give data, any kind of character, like capital A to Z, small a to Z, zero to nine, any or any other data, any other character, you give data to a computer, it will take a space, and that space must be. My okay. 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 So we need to measure how much file, uh, basically, how much file size uh, a computer will produce. Okay. Now what happened basically? Eight. Remember, eight bits equal to one byte. When it becomes 1024 bytes, it must be equal to 1 KB byte. Before that, we uh, call it kilobyte. Kilobyte term is not used uh, according to your uh, new syllabus, is not used okay, nowadays. Remember, now it means. 1024 KB byte will be equal to 1 maybe byte. Remember, okay? 1024 maybe byte will be equal to 1 uh, GB byte. Okay? 1 GB byte. And 1024 GB byte will be equal to 1 TB byte. Now, this is the measure. Is there any confusion till now? Should I move to next? Yes, Nama. Is there any confusion? Okay. Okay. Before that, now 1 kilobyte equal to 1000 byte. This term was being used. In history, one megabyte equal to ten hundred thousand bytes, okay, or one gigabyte equal to ten hundred thousand thousand bytes, okay. Okay, you can also measure like this one. If you give two power ten, remember it will be one zero two four KB byte, and if you give two power twenty, two power twenty, so it will be equal to one zero two four maybe byte. And 2 power 30 will be equal to 1, uh, sorry, one, 2 power uh, 10 will, will be bytes, okay, 1, 0, 2, 4 bytes, and this will be uh, kilobyte, and this will be, this is only byte, okay, this is only byte, and 2 power 30 will be equal to 1, 0, 2, 4, maybe byte. I can show you on, uh, basically, a table, so should I remove? Here you can see. You need to remember this uh, equation. 2 power 10 equal to 1024 bytes. 2 power 20 will be equal to 1048575. Basically, it is equal to 1 kilobyte. Uh, okay. Uh, 1 maybe byte. This, this is given. 1 kb byte. 1 megabyte and 1 gigabyte. So remember, 
2 power 30 is equal to 1 GB byte and 2 power 20 always equal to 1 megabyte and 2 power 10 equal to 1 KB byte. Till that you have to remember these terms KB byte 2 power 40. Okay. Is this clear? 2 power 10, 2 power 20, 2 power 30, 2 power 40. Okay. This will be equal to 1 KB byte. This will be equal to 1 uh, MB byte. And this will be equal to 1 uh, GB byte. And this will be equal to 1 GB. But still now you have to memorize. Okay. Is this clear? Okay, so moving to next. Now it is asking about calculation of file size. Okay, one thing I'm showing you how to do that basically. So this formula you have to use image resolution in pixel and color depth in width. Now I want to clear what about color depth. Color depth. It is also called width per pixel. Okay, remember, our image is produced by combination of pixel. You know, pixel is a tiny point of light. And this pixel, uh, this pixel need basically bits. Okay, that is called bit per pixel, bit per pixel. Okay, this pixel need basically number of bit. If we assign, basically what is pixel? Pixel basically it's a dot, smallest unit of picture. If I put these dots, vertical and horizontal, if I arrange like that, it becomes image. Now it is R. This R or this image need a number of bits, okay? It could not uh, do anything at on self. It, it is required a number of bits. If we assign one bit per pixel, okay, one bit to a pixel, okay, here you can write like this, 2 power 1 is equal to 2 color. If you assign one bit to a pixel, it can, your monitor uh, can produce only two color. Remember, if, if I assign two bits, then Monitor can produce four color. Remember, minimum bit can be one. Okay, so later on you can move, you can increase number of bit. As you increase number of bit, number of color will increase. This is called color depth. If you assign two three bit to a pixel, it can produce eight color. Later on, if you assign eight bits, so you can produce basically two fifty six color. And you know when computer engineer uh, successful to give 8 bits to a pixel it can produce 2 pixels color from here monitor can start video before that monitor uh, computer monitor could not show any video when they were successful to give 8 bits this is 8 bits okay to a pixel and that monitor can produce 2 pixels color so later on they assign 16 bit this it can produce 65,000 color. Later on, they assign 24 bits to a pixel. Now it can produce 16.1 million color. Now you can uh, think that they have basically assigned 32 bit. You must have heard about 32 bit monitor, 64 bit monitor, and 128 bit monitor. So you can uh, you can uh, image you can imagine that how many color a monitor can produce. That is why. We know that about 2K monitor, 4K monitor, and 8K monitor, okay, which are being used in computer and television. Is this clear? Should I repeat it again? Is there any confusion? Bit per pixel. Yes, Nama. You got the idea? Bit per pixel or color depth because this is related to calculation of file size. So that I can move on. Okay, good. Now I need to uh, see calculation of file size. This question comes uh, very much. So in this section, this is asking in this section, 
okay so it is saying in this section we look at the calculation of the file size required to hold a bitmap image and a sound file so these two types of question comes they will ask you bitmap image and then they will ask you sound sample the file size of an image is calculated as image resolution in pixel multiplied by color depth in bits okay now how to do that the size of mono sound file is calculated as sample rate in hertz multiplied by sample resolution in bits multiplied by length of sample in seconds okay we will do uh, both of these an example give here given Example say a photograph is 1024 1080 pixel and uses the color depth of 32. Now it is here you can see color depth of 32 bit. How many photographs of this size would fit onto a memory stick of 64 GB bytes? Okay. Now remember, first step you have to calculate number of pixel. Number of pixel is equal to width multiplied by height in pixel okay this is the formula here i can so width means it can be 1024 a number of pixel in width and number of pixel in height or you can say horizontal or vertical okay whatever 1080 okay now it is basically here you can see multiply number of pixel in vertical and horizontal direction to find total number of pixel so it is showing that it would be one one. Now you remember you have to do calc uh, manually this calculation one one zero five and nine two zero pixel. Yes, Nama. Till now it is clear. This step is clear. So that I can move to next step. Okay. Whenever a uh, question asks you to calculate the file size, it must give you number of pixels, horizontal and vertical. Okay. The first step is basically to calculate uh, number of pixels, horizontally and vertical. Okay. They have given you 1024 multiplied by 108. Basically, it is a resolution. It is a resolution. We call it image resolution. Must be given. Your image resolution basically image produced like this. This is horizontal, this is vertical. And they have given you number of pixels which are available in this area. Okay. Horizontal like this one and vertical. So they have given you a photograph is 1024 into 108 pixel. The first step calculate number of pixels. As it, as it has, uh, you can see on example, multiply number of pixels in vertical and horizontal direction to find out total number of pixels. So these are number of pixels. Width multiplied by height, or we can use formula height into or horizontal into vertical. Okay, this step is clear. Just you have to multiply number of pixels. That's it. Okay. Now, second step, remember, second step you have to calculate number of bits. Number of bits. For that, you have to need to have formula number of pixels. Multiply by number of bits, bit per pixel. Okay, you can say color depth, bit per pixel. Here, bit per pixel is given 32 bit. So, one pixel will take 32 bit. Okay. So, we have calculated number of pixel that is 1105920 multiply by 32. 32 bits. Okay, so you can get the answer of number of bits per image. So, here is given here. Now multiply number of pixel by color depth, then divide by eight. Okay, I will do the number two in two steps. I will do this step into two steps. They have done in one step. Then divide by eight to give the number of bytes. So, so you will get these number of bits. Okay, uh, this one, only this. Okay, so three, five, three, eight, nine. 440 bits. This step they have done in one in one stage, but I will do in two stages. Okay. Number two step I will do in two stages. So first stage I have done. I have calculated number of bits. Just you have to multiply 
whatever uh, number of bit is given with the number of exam. Yes, Nama, is this clear? Should I explain again or it is clear? You got it? Okay. Now, in step two, basically they have told us now uh, multiply number of pixels by color depth. We have done this one. Then divide by it. So this, this I will do in number three steps. You have to calculate number of bytes. Number of bytes. For this purpose, you first write number of bits: three, five, three, eight, nine, double four zero bits. Okay. Divide this by eight. Okay. So you will get number of bytes. How many bytes they have done here? Double four two three six eight zero byte. Remember, when you go from bits to byte, you have to only divide by eight. You have eight bits, okay? Because eight bit equal to one byte. Eight bit equal to one byte. So whenever you have to convert from bits to byte, only divide number of bits by the eight. You got it? Yes, Nama. Is this clear? Should I move to next step? Okay, good. So now four step. Okay, it is asking about how many uh this is photograph this size would fit onto a memory cell. Okay. Now this is basically what is it? It is the size of one file in byte. It is the size of one uh, one file, okay, in number of bytes. Now it is asking about how many files are required for 64 G gigabit, uh, GB, GB bit, okay. So remember 2 power 10 is equal to KB byte. 2 power 10 is equal to maybe byte and 2 power sorry 2 power 20 and 2 power 30 is equal to gb byte it means i need to use 1024 three times to find out the 64 gb so basically i need to have a number of bytes in terms of 64 gb byte for that purpose what i will do uh you can write here 64 gb byte will be equal to 64 multiply by 1024 this is kb kb byte multiply by 1024 this is maybe maybe byte and multiply by 1024 gb byte so that after multiplying these three 1024 with each other you will get number of bytes for 1 g one, uh, 1 gb byte but we need to have how many bytes are equal to 64 gb byte so you need to multiply uh, with 64 is this point clear or not okay good so it is asking about how many files would be required. Uh, okay, it is asking about how many files would be required to store in 64 GB byte storage. So for that purpose, what we'll do that I have so we have found uh, these are bytes. Okay, 64. Okay, six, eight. 7, bytes will be equal to 64 GB byte. So now I will divide uh, by this uh, 4, 4, 4, 4, 2, 3, Six eight zero byte. This this number of byte basically for the
for the size of one file, double four two three six, double four two three six eight zero byte. So these are byte, these are byte. You will get uh, number of files. Okay. After dividing this one, here you can see we have done one five uh, one double five three four photos or number of files you can store in such area. You got the point or not? That we know. Yes, Naima. The four step is clear. This one or not? Should I explain again? Okay. Wait a second. Basically, what we have done in last three steps, first of all, we calculate number of pixels, 1024 multiplied by 1080, we got uh, these number of pixels. Second step, you have to calculate number of bits. Just you have to calculate, uh, basically, you have to multiply number of pixel with bit per pixel, This, these are, and they have given in question 32 bits. So we calculated number of bits. And Actually, they have done uh, two stages in one step, uh, second step. So I have done it uh, two, two different steps. Then we have to click calculate number of bytes. 35389440 bit divided by it, you will get number of bytes. Okay. Double four two three six eight zero basically are the number of bytes for only one file. Okay. One photo. It's basically one photo. You can say one photo will take these size uh, these bytes whatever double four two three six eight zero okay later on we calculate basically one zero two four is kb byte one zero two four is maybe byte and one zero two four is uh, gb byte okay these three 1024 calculation 1024 multiply by 1024 if you multiply by three times this will give you one gb byte okay this will be equal to one gb byte 2 power 30 even you can calculate 2 power 30 so you will get uh, whatever answer will come 1024 multiply by 1024 multiply three times if you multiply three times 1024 you will get one gb and we need to have 64 gb byte that is why uh, we multiply the uh, this 64 with 1024 three times. Then you got basically these number of bytes, okay, of which are equal to these number of bytes are equal to 64 GB bytes. Then I divide above bytes, above number of bytes with the one uh, one file size of bytes. So you got number of photos. These 15,536 photo can be stored in such uh, in such size now it is clear yes ma'am if there is any confusion i can explain it again good so basically what you have to do uh, you need to see, uh, I will uh, also upload this today's video and you can also uh, watch the video in which I have covered all three examples, example one and example two. Uh, I have already covered in yesterday lecture example one and example two and example. So if you want, so basically you should watch video so that it will be easier to understand in a more better way. Okay. If you required another class, I can manage, okay, uh, during the weekdays. Do you have time? So that your, uh, your loss will be covered. Yes, Naima. So, basically, I have another class at 8 p.m. So... Okay, no issue, but try to take at the weekend, 
uh, uh, to take the class. I will upload the lecture so that you can uh, your lecture will not be lost. Your okay. So try to see last uh, uh, yesterday lecture so that this topic will be covered. I will try to basically do uh, this activity. I have to do this activity. If you can do, that's mo most uh, most welcome. A camera data has an area one and two. A color up to how? Okay. This is the same as example one. This activity of this one. If you can do, try to send me answer so that during the weekday I can uh, basically correct you. Can you do that during the weekday? Okay, good. So try to do solve this activity. Uh, these three related to example two or three. Okay. Photo uh, can so I'm fixing you. Okay, even you can do also. I think second also one or two. These two you can do easily if you uh, understand the example one. Three and four I will uh, cover in next lecture. Okay, but you can see if you watch the video yesterday video, even you can do three or four. But try to do one or two first. Okay. Good. Okay, Allah Hafiz. Okay, Allah Hafiz. Hope, uh, inshallah, next week we will manage the class. Okay, Naila. Allah Hafiz. Try to come on time so that uh, your lecture will not be lost. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, Uncle. Ah, okay. How are you? Good. How are you? How are you, Abid? I'm good. I'm good. Give me one minute. Okay. I'm starting in one minute. Okay. Give me one minute. Yeah, yeah. That's a sniper. That is you. 